So if you guys just watched my previous video, um, I think it was two videos ago, we dialed in the uh, uh, Z-axis, the linear rails, using the dial gauge. Problem was, uh, this arm was way too long, it was a little bit wishy-washy, but now we actually have a little bit more accurate uh, demonstration. So this is for the Z, uh, the Z cart, I just showed it on my last video. I've gone ahead and uh, tightened a few of these bolts for these rails. This is a little bit smaller rail, this is a size 15 rail. Um, and I just have a, there's a nut on the back because it's wood, I didn't put any, th obviously didn't put any threads in it. So a little bit stiffer application here, and these rails uh, on the bottom here, that's where your, you, if you were to machine a groove for these to fit in, you'd actually align it with this bottom rail right here, or this bottom uh, lip. So that's where I have the dial indicator resting on that little lip there. So what you do is, uh, these are short so they're pretty easy to line up to make parallel. I've gone ahead and I've, I've tightened these ones down uh, and put this one into its final position. I put the, uh, the runner block on the rail, attach the magnet, and come over here with my gauge. Come on this side because it obviously can't fit in here. So I have it against that little edge. And when I slide this along here, let's zero this out. Oh. We'll get her. Close enough to zero. And when we drive this, rail. I don't know if you guys can see that, but we're within a thou there. We're probably three quarters of a thou all the way along. I could probably get this better, but it's such a short distance. Uh, I'm not going to be too concerned about that, especially for the, the home job that we're doing here. So then if one, if it was to be off by say 20 thou, you loosen one end, bring it over, and it's just, it's just a matter of, of tweaking this back and forth until these are perfectly parallel. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty happy with that. And like I said, it's just it's just wood too, right? So I had to do that as good as I could on the drill press. Um, so next, uh, we're going to mount the, uh, I called them the, what did I call them in the last video? The tracks here. The V-groove bearings. We can put those in, and then... Still gotta wait for the motors to come in. Otherwise, I put the ball screw in here. So that'll be uh, that'll be in the future. Oh, just made up these little clips. Uh, this is gonna go on the back of the ball screw. So somehow I gotta mount that on the other side of this. So I'm thinking of making like a little 45 set of piece of steel or something we can weld it together. But that's it for now. So that's a little tip on uh, aligning these runner runner blocks and uh, linear rails.